Member Escamano, you're recognized. Thank you so much, Chair. Thank you, Rep. It's good to talk to you last night about this a little bit, too. Um, do you have a concern around just the regressive nature of sales tax, and are you hopeful the APAGA study will highlight that? You're recognized. Thank you for the question. Uh, I have concerns on all taxes, uh, and I am hoping the OPAGA study will reveal another, another uh, a group of numbers that we can all look at together and figure out how to, how to be as smart about this as possible. Thank you. All right, follow-up, Chair. Your, uh, yes. Thank you so much. Um, if you have a concern for old taxes, would you be open to exploring all types of taxes, including corporate income tax structure and other types of taxes in Florida to evaluate everything versus just one? Uh, you're recognized. Thank you for the question. Certainly, I'm, I'm open to having a, a great big tax conversation. This particular bill addresses property tax. That's the one thing that I'm singling out on this. I believe we need to do away with it in the state of Florida. Uh, Follow-up, Chair. No, you're recognized. Thank you so much. Um, just thinking, I'm curious, have you spoken to any economists about this idea? And I only ask because, you know, even our, our own you know, DOR director has spoken about just the importance of having three legs to a tax structure so revenue is sustainable. Um, so have you talked to any economists about this study? You're recognized. Thank you for the question. Haven't spoken to specific economists, but again, this is phase, this is step one to begin the research so that we can have those deeper conversations. All right, and then last question, Chair. Thank you so much. Um, will the study take in consideration, you know, situations of economic downturn when people are not consuming as much as they were in the past? You're recognized. Thank you for the question. I'm sure it would, although we haven't seen such a downturn to eliminate people purchasing things in our state or our country that would cause such a problem, but I'm certainly all of that data will come to light with some of these studies. Rep Representative Tant, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In respect to the consumption issue, I, I represent two small counties who are gravely fiscally restrained. How does your bill, um, how does your bill contemplate that? Because they're already struggling now with the lack of property taxes to 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 help sustain their local governments. You're recognized. Thank you for the question. This bill is specific toward beginning the process of studying so we can gather data to address things like that. I represent a, s a smaller county as well than, than some of the other counties represented here, so I'm deeply concerned about how we will make this work for everyone. So it is going to be an important topic that we can begin to discuss deeper, and I'm looking forward to having conversations with you on it. Um, for us to consider going from a um, property tax to a consumption tax-based system, what makes you believe that an undertaking or a study of that undertaking would be able to be pulled together in less, well, less than a year because the findings have to be to us by uh, February 2025. What, what makes you, like, what information do you have that I don't have that would allow you to think that this information could be pulled together and reported in an accurate, succinct way um, uh, in less than a year? You're recognized. Thank you for this question. I believe the data already exists today. It just needs to be organized. Each county has data that they could submit. Someone could pull that data, put it together. And with a few accountants, we certainly, it, I'm not saying it's going to take a day or two, but it, it certainly would not take till July of next year to figure that out. Thank you, Chair. Rep, let me ask you this question. Uh, a lot of our fire departments, first responders, are uh, funded through a, a tax assessment, fire assessment uh, on their taxes. How would that affect our first responders by eliminating that tax? Would they have to pay per call? Uh, when you get called the first responder to your uh, house or business, would you have to pay for that? Or how do you put, uh, propose to make up that lost income for our first responders? Recognized. Thank you for the question. Well, the consumption tax that we would decide on as a team here and as a state would, would determine how the funding is going to take place. We've got to look at the study and figure out what that's going to be. But under my way of thinking, I'd love to figure out how to increase uh, revenue going to fire, firemen and, and police officers. So I'm open for that discussion. Thank you. Member Escamani, you recognize. Okay. Thank you, Chair. I appreciate it. Um, from your 
definition of a, con I mean, it's not defined, but I'm, I guess I'm curious, what is your definition of a consumption tax, and does it also include taxing services? You're recognized. Thank you for the question. I'd like to get together with you on that and discuss that, but I think that definition will be more clear after February of 2025. All right, follow-up, Chair. You recognize. Thank you. So how would you define consumption taxes right now? What, what do you actually want to study? You recognize. Uh, consumption tax, when people buy something, there's a tax. Okay. So follow-up, Chair. So that would potentially include services. You recognize. Thank you. Uh, yes, potentially. Okay. Um, I think that's it for now, Chair. Thank you.